Welcome to another episode of Bite Size. My name is June, and I'm here today to help set up our Windows environment to work in Mobile Center Test. Let's get into the setup guide now. Let's start by tapping on the search box menu on the bottom left hand corner. Here, we'll type in Advanced System Settings. And it should be the first return item on the list. So we'll click into that. Move this over to the middle so it's a little bit easier to see. Next, we need to make sure we're on the Advanced tab and you can find that on the top menu right over here. Next, we're going to hit Environment Variables. Then we're going to go down to System Variables and we're going to hit New. And we're going to create a new variable named Java Home. So let's go ahead and do that. Java underscore home. And then we need to make sure we have our JDK 1.8 installed. For those of you who don't have your JDK installed already, let's go to our web browser and we'll type in JDK 1.8. I'll put this link right down below for those of you who are interested in it. And here we can install the JDK that we need for our system. And after we install the JDK, then we need to find the JDK path and put it into this variable value. For me to find the JDK path, I'm gonna go down to the search box window again. I'm gonna type in this PC. Then I could go into my C hard drive, navigate to my program files, navigate to Java, and here we go. That's our path right here. And once we're here, we could go ahead and launch in command prompt and use the search box window again and type in command prompt. We can go ahead and launch this. And for me, this is the easiest way to get a path for anything on my computer. I'm just gonna go ahead and simply drag it over here, copy this path, and I'm gonna go back into my new system variable and paste that path right in here. After we're done creating the Java home system variable, then we need to go into our path and we need to add in a couple things at the end of this. So we're going to click on edit. To edit the path, we're going to click on this edit text. And we're going to scroll all the way to the end of this code. And we're going to paste in this little code snippet here. And this code snippet will allow the user to access Java commands system wide. Then we're going to hit on this OK button. And now we're all done setting up our new system variable called Java Home. And we updated our path. To check if we installed our JDK correctly, we're going to go ahead and go to this search box on the bottom left hand corner. And we'll type in command prompt. Once the command prompt is open, we could easily check our Java version. So all we need to do is type in Java space dash version. And we'll return the version that we have installed on this computer. So we have a Java version 1.8.0, which is what we want. We have our Java runtime installed. And we also have our Java hotspot. And that's it. And we just set up our new system variable called Java Home. We put our path to our JDK in there. And lastly, we double check the version that we had through command prompt. So we are all ready to go. And now we can start writing test scripts for Mobile Center Test. Hope you found this short tutorial on setting up your Windows environment for Mobile Center Test informative. If you want to see more videos like this, please like this video down below. Also subscribe to our channel if you want to get notifications for any upcoming video. Thank you for watching, and as always, I appreciate you. Peace.